else you're stuck in my head and i can get you out of it if i could do it all again i know i'd go back to you and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping in. Today I have another Happy Mail opening. This Happy Mail is from my friend Dawn and it's kind of the same theme I've had going on with my other swap buddies lately. We're doing a Halloween mini pocket letter and then a loaded envelope. So as always, I'm very excited to get into it. I like her cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm not even a minute in and I already said the word cute. Anyways, it says I believe in unicorns and it has a little on it look how cute that is all right all right so I'm gonna get into it here so Dawn is my friend who I have swapped with before on a group that I'm in on Facebook and so we have swapped pocket letters before and so um, she was willing to swap Halloween pocket letters in a loaded envelope with me so I'm really excited to see what she sent me. All right, let's get into it. Just when you think that, like sometimes I get in a block in my brain, like a crafty brain block, I guess we could call it. And I'm like, I just don't know what else to do. I don't know. But every time I open my friend's happy mail that they've sent me, I see things and I'm like, good idea. I have to steal that. I have to do something like that because it's so cute. So look at this cute. All right, this little guy's eyeball came off, but that's all right. I can just, I can fix that. I can fix that. It might help if I turn it around to where it actually makes sense to you guys, right? <laughs> So I'm gonna fix that little guy's little iPhone. You guys, I had to jump back on here really quick. I filmed this after I filmed the entire Happy Mail opening because I read Dawn's postcard that she sent me. And you guys, her four year old put this pumpkin together for me. Isn't that so sweet? I'll treasure it. Thank you, Dawn. Let's see what all she sent me here. I love this envelope I'm again I'm assuming yep this is oh it's not an envelope it's a postcard so love that it says autumn skies and apple pies Aww. and it's got a Halloween it's a, it's a drink it's a red drink it's got an eyeball in it and then a little Frankenstein I don't know maybe he's like a y'all I almost said Eeyore it's not Eeyore it's um I can't remember that guy's name. Oh, what is his name? Comment down below. What's like the assistant's name that always has this hunchback? I can't remember. I feel like I'm close, but anyways, he's cute. He's waving at us. <laughs> I'll read that here in a little bit. All right, and then, downtowntape.com, Utah, Oh, so sweet like she sent me some looks like some little tags maybe let's see here yeah some like square tags I have a million tags but I don't think I have any just little square ones like this so these will be so cute to decorate y'all know in my hauls when, or not hauls but in my my videos that I film I always say like this would be really cute to decorate a tag with so I'm doing the exact opposite this time this would be really cute to decorate it's a tag so thank you things that I can do things to and build on very cute and then she sent me a really good quality washi the inside's plastic rather than like a cardboard and there's quite a bit of washi on there if you can tell do you guys ever get those washies that maybe it's a really cute print, but then you get it out of the package or something and you turn it over and there's barely any washi on it? So disappointing. This is definitely not one of those. This has a lot of washi on it. So thank you. This will look cute when I use with my wintertime stuff because it's blue and white. You can do some cute winter stuff with that. Okay, so this is what I was talking about as far as like being creative and cute. She gave me, she made this cute little pack and it's got a tea in it and a couple of let's see this one is coffee flavor this one's latte flavor these stickers are adorable that she's using it says freaky fountain it's like a little halloween maybe like a diner or something 
Oh, I love that. And I like the paper that she used. Let's see if this side has a better look at it. It does. So I like this paper. If you watched my last haul, if not, I'll pop a card up right here. I was talking about how I just love, I guess, collecting like all these different papers because there's so much paper. I don't have this paper. I could take this out of here and reuse it. It's a pretty good size paper there. So, very sweet, thank you. When I got home from work today, I saw my stack of tea and it looked super appealing. I was like, I just wanna get under a blanket and give myself a cup of tea. So maybe that's what I'll do with this after this video. It's, <laughs> you guys that live like up north and stuff are probably like, she doesn't even know, but. I live in Oklahoma. Speaking of I live in Oklahoma, can you guys hear that? Oh, he stopped right when I did that. Here in Oklahoma, we call them locusts. They're not locusts. I can't remember their actual scientific name but they're super loud. They're not locusts. Katie did? Katie did? Is that right? I think it's a Katie did. But they're really loud. We have them here in Oklahoma. And he was just doing it. And it's not even the right time of the day. He's really confused. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, it's been on my way home from work today. I looked at my car temperature thing and it said it was 79. It said it was 79 degrees and I'm like all cold over, over here. So yeah, anyways, okay. Okay, to this next cute thing. It says it's a banner. I wonder what it says. This is really cute. And I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure Craft Smart is from Michaels. That's when you know you have a shopping problem. I don't want to call it a problem because like, when is shopping a problem? I guess shopping's a problem if you spend too much. But that's when you know you're a... A uh, avid shopper is whenever you like you know the brands and even the distributed by you can usually tell where that thing came from oh okay here let me move this out of the way so here's the little um, twine type ribbon that goes through it it says T is it gonna say thanks I bet you it'll say thanks <gasps> this one looks so cute in my fireplace. Oh, you guys, it does. It says thanks. And I'm really sorry because my shot's not good enough to get it all in here. P H A N K and S. Mm, that will look so cute across my fireplace. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you, Dawn. Thank you for doing that. I haven't seen this at Michael's. I was just in Michael's a couple days ago. As you can tell from my Michaels haul video. Thank you for that. that was, that's so sweet. Okay, so let's get into this, what I'm assuming is my mini pocket ladder. So really cute little pumpkin dude here. I'm going to try to get him off of here. And I need to fix his little eye. Oh, there went his little eye again. Okay. Okay, little guy, we're gonna fix you up. You're gonna be good as new. <laughs> okay. <gasps> okay, this is so cute. Here, let me get this tissue out of the way. I know I say the same things all the time, but. It's a true first reaction. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Everything is cute. All right, so let's start with the pocket letter. So let me pull this guy out of here. This That's a smart idea, Dawn. I see what you did there. She put everything into the loaded envelope and then she used this sticky stuff to make in like she positioned it in there how she wanted it and she put that sticky stuff on there but it's like the sticky stuff that easily comes off like it doesn't run your stuff your crafts in this case good idea <gasps> what okay i'm one thing at a time one thing at a time okay we'll look at those here in a second oh so cute okay i need to i'm trying to look at everything at once focus focus you can do it I saw a shirt the other day that said, 
What did it say? It was like, again, because I'm a teacher, it was a teacher poster thing, but it was for fall, and it said, I think it said, Focus, po focus, 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 or something like that. It was cute. So. So, let's start with this little guy. This is so cute. Great layering techniques, Dawn. Like, she used these stickers that look like branches with leaves and kind of layered them in there and then put this 3D felt owl on top of them. And then it says boo to you. Love that. She did maybe like an embossing folder that was spiderweb and then went through. And then a button, it's a um, spider button that says trick or treat and she put it in there and stapled that itself in there. I love that, good idea there. And then an adorable spider. And then the last one, um, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but here it is up close, first of all. But it's, I'm gonna call it like a maroon-ish, purplish color, and it's got the spider webbing, but it's in 3D. Like it's, it's like it's been embossed. And she's got a glittery, glittery, I can't speak, glittery jack-o'-lantern. And I love the glittery banner with the glitter bat right there. And this this thing right here that it looks like it's a ribbon, but it's like a faux ribbon. It's just a picture. But I had to look at it really closely to see if it wasn't real or not. And it says spooky. I love that. Aww. Love the colors you used on. I love, I was saying in my last video, I love the green, the orange, and the purple together. It's like my favorite. So... And then, this is creative, she took these sequin, what would we even call these guys? Like a sequin ribbon or something? And she attached it right here to the edge and has this glittery spider web. Look at that. Very cute. And then the back side she used, it's almost like a Paisley, I'm struggling today with my words. I don't know. I don't know why. But, and it's like a gray color. And I like this. I think I'm going to have to steal this from you as well, Dawn. Is she put a little handcrafted by Dawn. And it says, please enjoy. So I'm going to cover up her last name there. Just for identity purposes. But how cute is that? So sweet. All right, I love that pocket letter. Can't wait to add it to my pocket letter wall. I'm just gonna start pulling things now from the loaded envelope. She included a couple of Halloween pencils with my favorite traditional Halloween colors on there that I always talk about. And then this pencil has a little green witch, black cat, some spiders, bat spider web it's cute too grab this one you put together some really cute packages i like this paper again it's just spider web it kind of looks like vintage spider web to me and then she used some pop foam to put this haunted sticker on there with the little jack-o-lantern guys behind it and Look at this cute candy corn guy. Can you guys see that? It's a little maze that you use the ball to get through. A boo eraser there. And a little Frankenstein pin. I'll stick that little guy in my planner come October. I really like this paper. That's cute. I love all things that are like Halloween vintage. I love the Halloween vintage. And do you guys ever do the thing where you start thinking of something or you start like wearing something or using something and you don't really think anybody else is, but then everyone around you starts wearing that thing or doing that thing and you're like, hey, is everybody copying me or did I like subconsciously think that I started this thing? And really I was seeing it places. I don't know, but I feel like at the beginning of this season, I was like, oh, I'm really into vintage Halloween. And now I see vintage Halloween stuff everywhere. So, hmm, I don't know. Okay, anyways, moving on. So, love the outside. I haven't even looked on the inside yet because it goes with what I was just ranting about. How vintage Halloween 
does that look? So cute. So Halloween stickers, there are 136 count in here. <gasps> I love these colors. These colors are so pretty. Cute. Thank you, Dawn. That was so sweet of you to send me like this whole package of stickers. I could use these so much. Are these all the same? Am I noticing? No, they're not all the same. I think the first one was different. Yeah, so the first page was different, but then after that, I think they were all the same. Oh wait, it's like the same stickers. They're just kind of in, no, it's not. They're different. They're different. They're different. Okay, get it together. Cute. I'm already thinking of ways I can use these. I love these, Dawn. Thank you. I mean, I love everything, of course, but I really like these. Thank you. So surprisingly enough, as much crafty stuff as I have, I don't have Halloween jewels, gemstones. What are we going to call these? The loose ones, not the ones that have the sticky stuff on the back side. Because I do have some of those. But I don't have any of the Halloween colors for these loose ones. So thank you so much for sending these to me, Dawn. These will be put to use because I don't have any. So thank you. Also, so many ways I can use these. And then I'm so excited about these. These are so cute. And I know that they're like a necklace or a bracelet or something like that but there is no reason that you couldn't cut these little dudes apart use them separately keep them in some str like I'm thinking cut them in a strand and like attach them to the side of something how cute would that be and look at these little pom-poms so cute pom-poms I think it was Kim if you guys haven't checked out my haul my why do I keep calling it a haul if you guys haven't checked out my Happy Mail opening from my friend Kim, I'll pop a card up right here. She sent me some pom-poms, or maybe it was Dawn. I can't remember, I'll have to find it. I'll pop that ap appropriate video up here. Um, and I had said that I don't have any pom-poms, so I'll add these to my little collection of pom-poms because I now have a few. Thank you, I can do a lot of stuff with those. Again, I'm thinking like maybe taking a piece of thread and threading several together and then hanging them off of something. That would be real adorable. So ooh, I really love these. All right, and then all that's left, I believe, is this little envelope. Let me pull this off to the side. So you guys can see here that she had her little, what looks like the blue dots or sticky dots, and then she positioned everything on here and then she slid it down into the envelope. And when I opened it, everything was where it was supposed to be. So I like that idea. I'm gonna have to steal that. But as far as this card goes, it's already got the line right here. Like I can turn that into a card or something. That's cute. And then we have an envelope right here. She decorated it with this skull and crossbone ribbon with the rhinestones on it. I love this cute little ribbon on here. Witch's hat. Sparkly ghost. It says haunted house and another one of those cool faux ribbon things. And then some more of that paper I was saying that I liked. So yeah, just really cute. And guys, so that is it for this happy mail. I tried to say haul again. Mm -mm. Again, get it together, girl. So that is it for this Happy Mail opening. Thank you so much to my friend Dawn for sending this to me. If you guys would like to check out some of my other videos, I have some more Happy Mail openings as well as some hauls. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe because I post a lot of Happy Mail openings. I post a lot of DIYs. Um, crafty stuff, hauls, etc. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!